Welcome back to Alcamilla. So I just came from there and as far as I can tell I explored everything that was over there at the moment. So let's go back. I think it might be time to try to go to the third floor. Because I don't really have anything on me that should allow me to get anywhere that I haven't been able to get before. There's a lot of stuff that I need to unlock. So there's the operations room which I can unlock. There's the room down in the basement that also requires a password. And then there's also the safe. Yeah, there's also the safe in that one room. That also requires a password. And I don't have many clues to go on. Really, the only clue I have to go on is the Room of Old Age IV. Whether that means four, the number four, or intravenous, I'm not sure. Yes, yeah, so let's try the third floor. Now, this is the room that's, uh, the floor that's apparently being worked on. So let's see how things look. Doesn't look too bad from here. Uh, apparently one of the rooms has the ceiling caved in. What is that noise? What the hell is that noise? Sounds like there's like somebody on the floor above me just like shaking around and... I, I don't know what the hell that is. stopped. Oh no, there it is. Weird. Under there? Dad? Your dad is a clown? Time X? Will she? I can't remember which room it was that's supposed to have the caved-in roof. I want to say 304. Linen room. Storage. No handle? No handle. These are certainly industrial sized. Oh no. Is that a radio? Please tell me I can't pick it up. Oh, thank god I can't. I really don't want a radio. I remember radios in Silent Hill, and I don't like the things I heard through them. Three oh one. Oh god, not dolls. Please, no dolls. An old doll. 
It scares me. You're breathing. Okay, let's go in here. Oh, I need a key. There's a bloody syringe in there. Oh. Okay, this is definitely not the room with the caved-in roof. That or they already repaired it. Hello. It's a key. Found us. Whoa! Jesus. I think that was my own character speaking. I don't know what the hell he said, but it freaked me out. Okay, well there's only one door I know of that actually needs a key and not a password, and that would be the door I just visited. Oh god. The nurses have come to take care of me. Which one was locked? Wasn't this one? Oh, and there's the radio. Making its noises when they are near. Okay, this is the locked one. Okay, that's not what the key is for. What is the key for? Hey. Hey. You okay? No, she's not. Is she going to be there? No, she's gone. Okay, I've kind of lost my sense of place. I just came from here. Yes. Did I go here before? I don't... No, I didn't. Room of birth for... Okay, I'm gonna write that down too. Okay, so there's been room of old age, four, and room of birth, four. It's gotta be a hint to a password in some way, but I don't know what it means. need a key to open it. I have a key. Is it the one? Apparently not. 
I really wish I could see my inventory. Just so I could know what it is. I mean, I did pick up the key, right? Yeah, I did. What other doors are locked? It's a small key, too. It seemed almost too small to be for a door. It's almost like it was meant to open up something else, but... What else has been locked? I'm trying to think, what else has been locked? I have no idea. I did hear from a little kind of like preview article that somebody wrote about this mod that it does have a fair amount of backtracking, so I think this might be that. I have a key and I don't know what it goes to. If I wasn't freaked out by whatever the character said and I actually was able to read the description that it gave for the key, that might have given, given me more of a hint as to what it was supposed to be used for, but I did not read it. Because I was freaked out by what I heard, so I don't know what it said. I just know it said a small key. Well, since I can't think of anything and I might spend a lot of time just running around, I'm going to cut here and I'll be right back when I find something. Oh, yeah, so there's this place that says Room of Death 1. I never actually wrote that down, but now I did. I think... I actually might have all the pieces for the password. Yeah, I don't know how many digits I need. But, um, so we have the Room of Old Age, the Room of Birth, and the Room of Death. That's what i found so far. And they all have numbers attached to them. So I think you're just supposed to put them in the order in which they happen in life. And that's the order the numbers are supposed to be done. So like the room of birth is obviously first. And then the room of old age happens next. And then the room of death happens last. I don't know if I'm missing one though. I might be missing one. I mean I have birth, old age, and death. I feel like I'm missing something in the middle. I feel like it should be more than three digits. Um, but I could solve it with trial and error, I suppose. If I am just missing one number. Where else have I seen blood? I, I don't know. Let me try it. I'm, I'm just right here. I'm assuming it's for this thing, because it says the riddle of the rooms is very simple. You'll solve it, certainly. And this must be the riddle of the rooms. Okay, so room of birth, four. So four. Room of old age, four. That's another four. Room of death, one. So it's either 441 or 44, and then something I'm missing, and then 1. So let's just try 441 to begin with. Okay, that didn't work. So 4421, 4411, 4431, 4441, 4451, 4461, 4471, 4481, 4491. Four four zero one. Okay, I'm missing something. Okay, I just discovered something new also, and that's the fact that I can actually open lockers. I did not know that. So I just found this. Hi, Lisa. And Dr. Kaufman has ordered the installation of a code panel on the door to the operation room. And what I can't understand is, what does he want it for? Well, whatever, it's not important. If you forget the password, remember that it consists of four digits. Funny enough, each digit seems seems to correspond to the product of the first and third digit in the numbers of four different rooms. Hmm? There's a TV in the first room. A patient with a... Oh, there's a TV in the first room. A patient with a heart condition is in the second room, there's a little girl in the third room, and the fourth room I hate because the occupant is a cranky drunk. Oh. 
The one, the, yeah, the patient with the heart condition, that's gotta be the, like, the jar and the heart on the table. TV in the first room. A little girl, that's gotta be the doll. Yes. Each digit seems to correspond. Okay, so I need to write this down. I need to go find these rooms. Um, I'm gonna do all of that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I believe I have it. So again, what the note said was that the code for the operations room is four digits. And, and each of those digits corresponds to the product of the first and third digit in the number of the four different rooms. So the first room that corresponds to the first digit is the one that has the TV inside of it. For the second digit, it's the one with the heart inside of it. The, the person with the heart condition, that is. Although in my case, it's there's literally just a heart on the table. For the third digit, the third room is the one with the little girl in it. That'd be the one with the dolls. For the fourth digit, it'd be the one with the drunk in it. That's the one with all of the bottles. So I just went through all the rooms, found those, wrote down the room numbers, and now it is time to multiply and hope to God that I did this right. Okay, so the room number for the first room is 202. I'm supposed to multiply the first and the third. So 2 times 2 is 4. For room number 2, it's room number 201. So 2 times 1 is 2. For the third digit, it's room number 301. 3 times 1 is 3. And for the fourth digit, it is room 303. 3 times 3 is 9. So 4239. Please work. 4, oh, 4, 2, 3, 9. Yes! Got it. And oh god, I wish I didn't get it. Because now things probably become more horrible. So I still have my small key that I never used anywhere. I don't know what it's for. No idea. Room of Life 35. Oh, interesting. Right, so what I was just doing a minute ago, I'm just shuffling through my notes here. Room of Old Age 4, Room of Birth 4, Room of Death 1. Hmm. Those were in Roman, uh, Roman numerals, but... This is not. I guess that's why my trial and error didn't work, because this one is actually two digits. Okay, so Room of Life. Room of Life. 35. Okay, so that fills out the center. Yeah, so it's Room of Birth, then Room of Life, then Room of Old Age, and then Room of Death. Okay. You know what, that's actually really smart. The fact that they made that two digits. Because if it wasn't two digits, then you really could easily solve it with just trial and error, just like I did. In fact, oh, there's so much blood, was there a surgery recently? Just, just don't think about it. Don't worry about it. So I think the entire purpose of the operations room is just to get that piece of information. So obviously the next thing I need to do is go to the thing and unlock it. Now where was it? I think it's on this floor. Yeah, yeah, it's on this floor. Gotta remember that I can open the lockers. So if I see any more, I need to open them, because they might have extremely important no notes that tell you everything you need to know. Okay, I believe it's in this one. No. It's on floor three, isn't it? I think it's on the third floor. <sighs> 
Getting pretty good at navigating this place, I think. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay, so, um, when, you know a second ago when I said I was good at navigating? Um, it, it's actually on the second floor. <clears throat> anyway, okay, so we have the Room of Life, Room of Old Age, Room of Birth, and Room of Death. So, Room of Birth, 4. Room of Life, 35. Room of Old Age, 4. And Room of Death, 1. So, 4, 3, 5, 4, 1. Excellent. What does that say on the key? Is that DR, Doctor? Picked up key with a mark, oh, DL. What could DL mean? DL. Hmm. So there's a couple, there's like one or two locked rooms up here, and then I think there's also the doctor's room that was locked back on floor one. Let's go try that. Yeah, let's go see if it's back on floor one. Fits? Although, which one? Is that the small key that I picked up a while ago, or the one I just picked up? Because I have two keys now. Hmm. I hereby forbid anyone from visiting the morgue without my authorization. Only approved personnel may enter there. I have replaced a lock on the door with a code panel. The code is currently 4573. If someone enters the morgue without consent, they will be immediately dismissed. Dr. Kaufman. Oh goody, I get to go to the morgue, which is where the body of the person who was inside of the room where the roof collapsed went. Because he died from the roof collapsing on his face and his body's in there. Wonderful. Okay, uh, morgue. I'm gonna write this down, of course. Four five seven three. Four five seven three. Why is there a little sticker on that phone, on the base of it, that seems to say 666? Demonic phone. Okay, so the morgue. Where's the morgue? That is probably in the basement. In fact, I think the basement is the only other place that actually has a door with a code panel, so it's gotta be. Yeah, there's no sign, but I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, so 4573. Q. 
Key to room 302. Yep, that's the body of the guy who died in there because the roof collapsed. Still have a key that I've never used. I believe there's a save point here. Yes. Three o two, and there's the breathing sound again. Oh my god! No, 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 no! What the hell is going on? I, I gotta get out of here. Ew. Key with the mark F3. It must be for the third floor. That's one of the... I think that's one of the workers. Because it said the key for that floor was either on a doctor or a worker. Or, or both or something like that. I think it's for this door. Mm-hmm. Alright, that just takes me where I've already been. Can't even go that way. So this is the other, yeah, this is one of the earliest doors that I tried and I couldn't go through because of the wood. So this just got me around it. Wait, so the only way to go here is through the bathrooms? What the hell am I going to find in the bathrooms? Wasn't there a Silent Hill where there's like a, a hole to another dimension in the bathroom? Oh god. Is this place even a hospital? What the hell?
I need to watch my step. I love this. There's this kind of like theme in, in the Silent Hill games of this sort of industrial rust and blood covered environments. It's incredibly creepy. Says, I'm bad at reading Roman numerals. Eight, twelve, eleven, seven. I should write that down. Eight, twelve, eleven, seven. Let me just double check and make sure I actually got that right. Five, six, seven, eight, yes. Ten, eleven, twelve, yes. Ten, eleven, yes. Five, six, seven, yeah, okay. Can I open it? It's shut tight, no handles or holes. I think it needs to I think it needs to be open from somewhere else. Well, I can pitch, uh, pick whatever direction I want and go in it. It's funny, because when I'm in a game like this and I'm given freedom, like, pick whatever door you want to go through. Well, I, I don't really want to go through any of the doors. Alright, this one needs a key. So I guess it's either upstairs or through there. Let's see what's upstairs. Okay, let's save upstairs for later. Everything is so damn dirty. someone crying. David, your blame is twice as much? Uh, is twice as much than Robert's blame? You dared to be inebriated during operation. think that this place is suitable for drinking. Yeah, I suppose not. It reminds me of the main entrance to the hospital. What is this place? Yeah, this is the same place as it was before, it's just a different version of it. A much less hospitable one. One with barbed wire on the front desk. Sister Ashley, you're, be 
you're a beginner, but drop the swab inside. Wait, but drop the swab in inside? You're a beginner, drop the swab inside, reveal flesh is unacceptable, mis huh? 5 slash 10, that the patient will die. I'm sorry, but that English is so broken, I have no idea what it's trying to say. Drop the swab inside. Huh? Reveal flesh is unacceptable? Is that saying, like, no cleavage or something? I mean, I don't know what that means. 5 slash 10 that the patient will die. As in 50% chance? Sounds like Ashley was an assistant during an operation and didn't do a very good job or something? I, I don't know. Okay, upstairs it is. Blankets of flesh? the room where the patient with the heart condition where where that person stayed oh is that a button it is okay so that's where the uh, the box the 8 12 11 7 yeah so 7 is the one that's supposed to be pressed to last so so I've already messed that one up that's fine, though, because at the moment I don't know where the rest of the buttons are, and in fact, I should write this down. Um, oh, right, there's no room number to write down. I was gonna write down where the button was, but I... there's no good way to identify it. Looks like they all might be clustered together. I guess at this point I might need to press all of them just to reset it. Unless it unpresses itself. Hold on, let me check. Let me see if it unpresses itself. It doesn't. No, so I have to press them all down in the way for them to reset, I think. Solitary fan. This should be the last one. Okay, yeah, and then they just all reset, so perfect. All right, so the first one is eight, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the first one. Joseph, you are an excellent surgeon. 
working as a jeweler, but you are responsible for their Im responsible for the employees, even though you are not to blame. Are responsible for their employees. Given the message I just read about, what was it Daniel sharing most of the blame because of being inebriated during surgery? What did I like take a bunch of drugs before surgery and that, and that ended up killing me or something? All right, let's press the rest of the buttons in the correct order. So the next one is twelve. go. Next one is 11, which is the one I was just in. And then 7. After pushing the button, I heard a click of some kind. Okay, that's a good sign. Go see what's in the box. Let's save it first, shall we? Key, of course. There's a rusty key in the box. Not sure what door that's for, but I'm sure I'll find a use. Okay, well, I think I should end this episode here. So I'm still really enjoying this. I'm very impressed. A lot of a lot, if not all, of the puzzling seems to come down to just kind of finding notes and stuff written on walls and just you know, kind of like simple keys and password stuff. So it's nothing particularly um, amazing in the puzzling department, but it also seems to all fit together logically so far. There's um, there's no particularly tedious kind of backtracking or anything like that. It seems pretty logical. I'm, I'm not getting stuck, so it's not too frustrating, even if it isn't the most interesting puzzling. And even if the puzzles aren't terribly interesting, they're a good excuse for just going around this creepy environment. Because it forces you to scour every every corner. So I'm still really enjoying it. These environments are just awesome looking. And the music and sound effects are great. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.